1245 now, whether you're a small business owner or an investor, you might be looking at ways to try and lower your taxes with Taxi Lake 10 days away now. Uh, joining us today to share some tax tips for all of you, CPA Kimberly Washington. And Kim, what is the first step that a business owner can take to try and get more money? Right. So the first thing is look at your entity. The way that you set up is very, very important because, of course, you can save thousands of dollars. Many business owners may start off as a sole proprietor, but they may want to look at other tax structures such as an S corporation, even a partnership in some cases, a corporation. So those are some things that you may want to look at because doing so, of course, could save you thousands of dollars in taxes. So meet with a tax professional and determine what works best for your business to see what actually would actually help you save money this tax season. Now, it might not necessarily help with this tax season, but right. kind of moving forward, yeah. um, any tips on maybe keeping those books and records yeah. intact, like what they should be doing This best? is so, so, so important, right? So keeping your books and records intact, it's so important, not only just so you can have good records, but it also can help you as it relates to saving your taxes. Many people, of course, think about their books and records around this time, but this is not the time to really do all of your accounting. You want to have a good accounting system in place throughout the year, keeping your records throughout the year, of course, just like I say, can actually help you reduce taxes and also give you an idea as it relates to estimated tax payments, exactly how much that you owe throughout the year. And speaking of those estimated tax estimates, um, how do these work for small business owners or um, even some of our investors out there? Right. So unlike a worker who pay as their goal, when it comes to being a small business owner, you actually have to send money to the IRS on a quarterly basis. Those estimated tax payments are due four times throughout the year. April 18th this year, you have to send in a payment June 15th, September 15th as well. And of course, January of next year. But you do have to pay as you go, even if you're a small business. And of course, that reduces the amount that you owe when you file your tax return. And finally, any kind of secret or overlooked yes. tax deductions <laughs> that small business owners can take advantage of? There's so many, right? <laughs> and so that's why it's good having an accounting system. But some things that you want to keep in mind right now, depreciation is a big one. If you own assets, you actually could write that off. If you have a small business and you're working from your home, home office deductions could be a big deal for you right now. Cell phone expenses, also the mileage that you travel, you can write that off. Credit card interest. So if you're purchasing certain business expenses on your credit card, you can also utilize that. And last but certainly not least, when it comes to meals, you can write that off. And this year, you can actually write off 100% meal deduction if you're actually in a restaurant or taking meetings or whatever it is, or meeting your clients rather within a restaurant. So you want to make sure you take advantage of those overlooked tax deductions. Great tips there. Yes. All right. Kimberly Washington, as always, thank you so much for thank joining you. us in studio. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.